Hey guys, welcome to Book News Tuesday. First order of business is Paper Towns. Monday marked the first day of filming for John Green's second book to movie adaptation. Nat Wolf, who portrayed Isaac in The Fault in Our Stars, is actually the main man of this movie. Nat Wolf is going to play Q, who's in search of his best friend that goes missing. There are a few pictures out there from John Green and Kara, who's going to play the missing friend. I haven't read Paper Towns, and really, after reading The Fault in Our Stars, I was traumatized, but I'm pretty sure not all his books are going to be that dramatic. Or should I say traumatized. The Darkest Minds is coming to the big screen. Chad Hodge will be adapting the first book in the Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Bracken. He posted a photo on his Instagram of the cover page of the script and my feels about this are kind of mixed. Some books are just so great that they should be left alone and I feel like The Darkest Minds is one of those books. There are too many books to movie adaptations that it could go either way. It could either be amazing like the Harry Potter or it can flop in the big screen like the Mortal Instruments series did. Now the Mortal Instruments series is an amazing series also. And why did it flop in the big screen? Who knows? My end feels about this is The Darkest Minds is great as a book and some books just should be left alone. On this Book News Tuesday, we have two cover reveals. We have Sarah Dessen's Saint Anything that will be out May 5th, 2015. In an interview, Sarah Dessen revealed that this book is going to be about the relationship between a family. It's going to be about the main character, Sydney, and her brother, Peyton, and the way the relationship works after Peyton had a great big fall from grace. There will be some romance, just as any Sarah Dessen book does, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a lot of friendship, but mostly based on family issues. Now the cover for Saint Anything is a little different from any of her other covers. I feel like it's a little dark, and the carousel, I think that's what, it, what it's called. As you can tell, the cover is really dark, so I'm guessing if I have to go with my thinking on what the cover means, I'd go with Innocence is Lost. The second book cover that was revealed this week is Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. Miss Mayhem is the second book in the Rebel Bell series. Now the cover for this one, I'm not really loving it. It's just I was expecting something more kickassery. So when I saw the photo, my first impression was like, oh, that the cover. But all is good because my eyes can't wait to read the words on that book. That is all for book news. Now let's wish some authors happy book birthdays. Number one on the list is Michelle Hotkins with The Retribution of Mara Dyer. That's right, we finally have it. The publishing date on this book was pushed back so many times. First it was June. Yay! And I read the series back in January, so I was like, yay, I only have to wait a few months. <laughs> but no, 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 sorry. You're gonna have to wait until November. And I was, ugh. Especially with the ending of the evolution of Mara Dyer. It's like, no, that cannot happen. That, I, I, I don't believe it. Not one bit, I, I, I won't believe it. It's a trick, they're trying to trick her. It's just, no, no. No. A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray is about a girl who chases her parents' murderer across dimensions. Now doesn't that sound amazing? Forbidden by Kimberly Griffith Little. I probably won't say this right, but it's based off in the ancient Mesopotamian time. Empire of Shadows by Miriam Foster. Crashland by Sean Williams. Those are all the authors I wish happy book birthdays to. Tell me in the comments below what you thought about today's book news and who do you wish a happy book birthday to. That is all I have for you guys today and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!